Up. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that third strip got the pot nitrate. <laughs> well, good morning. No, afternoon. Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a special day. Momentous day. It's a, just such a special occasion. I've got two, two elders employees out here. The gun agronomist. I can't touch you. Josh Turner <laughs> and Will Edmonds. Will's a good bloke. He's not so good. So Josh has been the normal one coming out here, having a look at the cops for us. The normal-ish one, anyway. So today we are going to try and work out what we're going to do here. Um, try and dig. What do you think, Turner? Probably four or five meter rows. Good job. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. So Turner's now in the way, but oh, he's looking good there. Have you been working out? Yeah, thanks for noticing. You're, you're looking great. So that second run was with the fungus, well, the whole paddock got the fungicide. It's just that third strip got the pot nitrate. So we're trying to do the digs relatively close to one another because paddock variation is a pretty big thing in spuds. Um, yeah, so let's get digging. Right, there was a slight miscommunication about a measuring tape. Turner really should have brought one. But I've had to go to the next door neighbours and grab one. So all all issues will now be void. But it's really disappointing when someone comes along and they're just not prepared. It's it really ruins the day for you. <laughs> Five meters. So one, two, do a three and a four. And then we go to the other side. Yeah, they're not fresh marked. Yeah, Ooh. Fresh marked. What have we got there, Will? The scab. It's a bit of it. Yeah. I reckon that's nematode. What makes you say that? It's been grass forever in the day. Yeah, right. And it's, it just see how aggressive it looks? Whereas powdery probably looks yeah yeah that yeah that's nematode and, and so, what's that that would be grub yeah. <laughs> well thanks for growing that turner yep <laughs> no please to help yeah nematode or earworm whatever you want to call it They're ugly, aren't they? As far as technique goes, that's probably the best I've seen. <laughs> I get that a lot. Tell me what you've got. Grub. Oh, 
boy's healthy. White fringe weevil. Are you certain? Yeah. What gives it away about that? Taste. You eat it. Go in then. <laughs> little, little white head with two nippers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> Last one. What have we learned? We've learned that we're fit. Probably should have prepped harder for this. Prepared. A little mm. less time in Bassini. Yeah. It's a good bakery, though, eh? Yeah. Do it again. I'm just going to watch. As opposed to this. Yeah, true. <laughs> Both stuff's done. Done. Now, t Tony, you're gonna go take them and weigh them. Yeah. Will will be. We should have a okay. just an average spud. Just an average one. One thirty four. One thing of concern is the amount of nematode damage. I don't know if the camera's gonna do it justice, but. It'll be like this wart infested spud. Uh, it's not really the end of the world because I can still make do and make something of it. They'll just have to peel a lot off. Uh, yeah, anyway, we'll see if we get docked at that uh, when we take the loads in to the factory. Bit of a frosty morning this morning in Slovenia. Uh, better talk about these spuds. We end up weighing them. So, drum roll. Da -da 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 Pot nitrate. <sighs> For our little, our little dig, it did have a response. Um, whether it's significant or not, um, for all those research people that know significant differences and all that sort of stuff, um, the 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 plots that we dug in the pot nitrate yielded 70 tonne to the hectare so obviously we worked it out per kilos and then we've just extrapolated it out for a row uh for to equal one hectare so it worked out at 70 ton so the one without pot nitrate that yielded 65 ton so that's a five ton difference which is about eight percent seven to eight percent difference now like i said don't know whether it's significant or not that could have been just like we talked about field factor and to get really a good level of yes it's definitely different is we probably need to take another hundred samples on each side um, and then we could maybe draw something but that five ton from putting 50 kilos of pot nitrate which is probably about a hundred dollars to the hectare to potentially do five ton, which is the equivalent of well over $2,000. Um, seems a little too good to be true. So what we'll do, we'll do it again next year, but we might bulk it up and do maybe two hits of 50 kilos um, and maybe half the paddock. We'll try that, see if we can sort of see something different. Um, yeah, so there's enough to sort of go on with and say, yeah, let's, let's try that again. Uh, see if it works another year. At the end of the day, it's not spending too much money to get a fair bit out in return. So here's, it's, it's something, it is something. Um, now overall, the spuds went uh, across the both paddocks. We end up with 60 ton to the hectare, across them both. The, Berber, the range of russets that I was hoping did 70, they ended up doing about 66 and a half. So we're a little bit shy of that. And the other paddock was about 57. But because that was a bigger paddock, it brought the average down. But overall, I'm really happy with that result, given that it was a fairly tough year um, for the watering standpoint, because we had to do 
well, if you looked at the other videos, I had a few issues with irrigation. It wasn't the easiest, easiest of years for me. Um, yeah, so that that is the spud season. That's the spud results. That, in a nutshell, is uh, is what we've got up with. Um, so that'll do it for this video. Thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon.